What they got there is the Taj Mahal. The Costco Taj Mahal. Sure do. And what I got here is the bathroom for the Taj Mahal. That was the ant hill. This is our second location. There's the little Mahal. Sweet spot. No one else around. Two trees for the hammock. <laughs> now as good a time as any. I'm uh, 12 miles in to this uh, shenanigans. Bigfoot 42 miler out in the woods. Just past the aid station. I'm walking most of this and I dare say 75% of the people are as well. Of course is nice, but it's slow anyways. We have to go over massive boulder fields that were created during the eruption. And that's about it. Feeling so-so, uh, four hours. Exactly. Probably another six left. Six left, maybe even more. Anyways, yeah, I'm tired, but I feel good. Eating every hour, drinking constantly. Legs are still tight. Plantar fasciitis is fucked up. Oh yeah, mile 14.5. Four five. Four and a half hours in. Doing okay. In a foggy section. The forest checked us out. It's water. It's nice. Going through a lot of different environments on this volcano. Sand, river, deep forest, boulder fields. That's about it. Keep looking back because I think I'm being stalked by other runners. <laughs> Anyways, a bit of low, not bad. Still eating every hour. Got a meal coming up in 30 minutes. Gatorade's holding out. Plantar fasciitis is what's bothering me the most. And that's it. Stretch it when I can. I'm out. You gotta climb this rope all the way up, one at a time. Wish me luck. Who oh, I made the rope climb. Not fun when you're exhausted. Little meadow here. Whew. I can see why they do this course clockwise. You'd be fucked up if they did it the other way. Oh boy, I'm gonna walk you over. So we come down from over there and make our way over there and then up. Woo! Look at that. Far out. All right, time for some photos. All right, keep climbing. I'm going up there into the clouds. Oh, I'm fucking shit bagged. Nice views though, eh? Five hours, 24 minutes, 17K, or miles. I put it on miles as per the suggestion of Kevin because the aid stations and such are in 
miles, so I don't know. I guess it makes sense. Positive thoughts. This will be over soon. Not even at halfway though. Five hours, 24 minutes, a lot of climbing. I don't care. There's an 18 hour cutoff and I'm gonna use it. I generally feel pretty good. It's just my plantar fasciitis, my left foot. That's mucking me up. Look at this. I'm pretty sure I don't want any of that shit to give out. Or that. Anyways, I'm going to shut this off and focus on what I'm doing. Peace out. Nineteen K and six hours and eight minutes. I gotta go over there. Oh, this is a beat down. Glad I'm gonna be fit. Alright, halfway, just having lunch. Not much to say. Look at the view. Only took me six hours to get here. Only took me seven hours to get here. Fuck me. Halfway. I'm out. I haven't, I haven't done an update in a while. I just had to buckle down and grind through the miles shit's taking forever anyways just finished up at the aid station I'm at mile 27 point five seven nine hours and seven minutes feeling okay actually I'm on four Advil obviously not all at once it seems to be helping the plantar fasciitis plus this aid station's been on a out and back on a road forest service road which is nice to stretch out the legs I actually quite enjoyed it even though I was incredibly slow that's it from my end here's a view I'm out. All right, time for an update. I'm still out here with a lot of people. I saw a pack of coyotes, chipmunk, and I think a groundhog. Oh. We're at 33.35 miles, 10 hours and 51 minutes of travel. Isn't this fun? My watch is gonna quit. And I think that's because I had navigation turned on. Choose up the battery. So anybody using Garmin's, if you navigate, I think you take a hit. It's supposed to be really close to home supposed to be 40 miles but I'm hearing it's 42 or thereabouts so that means 70k so I'm past the 50k mark which is the furthest I've ever run feeling pretty fucking good right now actually probably because the end is the ends in sight it's pretty nice country but staying positive And uh, I think that's going to be it. Here's a little view. 
I think this is the part of Mount St. Helens that blew off. I don't know where I'm sitting in terms of placement. Don't really fucking care. I think I'm a little below half the pack. There's a lot of people walking this, and rightly so. Uh oh. More coyote shit. All right, gang. Signing off, and I'll probably. It's probably gonna get dark soon. So I'll uh, update tomorrow morning, maybe. That's it, I'm out. That was the, that was the end. It did get dark out and I had about four to five hours left of uh, running. So back home, back to, back to civilization. We were way out there, man. Um, so I had four hours left, a couple more boulder fields. The scenery on this race, uh, was fantastic. We went through everything, obviously a, um, lava field cause it was Mount St. Helens. We had sand dunes, uh, gravel roads, deep forest, alpine meadows. It was overcast and humid but not hot it was very pleasant to spend 15 hours in it did start to rain at the end with maybe two hours left to go it rained a little bit uh, nothing bad we did have to um, I'll get to that anyways one thing these are uh, can you see that likey trekking poles these were my best friends. It's like having four legs, although my back is a little tender now. But if you have a chance to do, uh, if, if you do a race and they allow poles, because not everybody allows poles, use them. Uh, especially something like this on this race. This race had over 3,000 meters of elevation and if you look at the profile, if you care to look at the profile on the, uh, this is how they are in case you're not familiar with race trekking poles, they're like this and they got a cord in the middle and you just pull this, have a look, pull it tight and that's it, that's your pole. And you just, uh, see that button there, you just release that, put them back together. Anyways. They were my best friends and I wouldn't do that type of race without it. Like I said, we had over 3,000 meters of elevation and it just kept going up and up and up. Uh, near the end, I had a, um, a, another lady catch up to me and I stepped aside to, you know, let her pass because that's what you do. And she said, no, I was running to catch up with you because uh, it was getting dark and it was getting dark fast because you're in the mountains and obviously once the sun goes down on the mountains, she, she gets dark fast and it was starting to rain. And she didn't want to go through the last boulder field alone in the dark during the rain, rightly so. So, uh, of course, I, uh, I said yes to uh, finishing with her because... Her safety and my safety was more important than um, time, getting the best time. We actually picked up two other um, racers along the way. Hi. You know, it's, it's very difficult trying to be sentimental and thoughtful during this because I had a great time. Okay, go, go away. That's my wife being a jackass. What are you, retarded? <laughs> go away. Anyways, we picked up two, sit down. <laughs> I, 
I'm gonna turn the camera on you. Yeah, exactly. Anyways, I got an awesome wife. And she's gorgeous. And she's showing me that she's gorgeous. So we're back to the race. See these fingers? They're broken. They were broken last year. There's a story behind that. Kevin and a time traveler. I'm gonna try and get through this. You're having a beer? What time is it? Hang on. This is gonna be a long one, you guys. That's ah, almost time to drink. So we picked up two stragglers. So uh, one of the negatives about this race was the boulder field was not well marked for nighttime running during the rain. Uh, so I, I have criticism about that. Many people may disagree with me. I don't give a fuck about that. That's, uh, we found it quite treacherous uh, navigating through this field. And in fact, it took us a long time, over an hour, to get through. Right? <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so, yeah, I criticize the uh, race directors. Not, I don't know. Someone's to blame on there. I don't want to blame. I don't want to get too negative. I'm just saying that the uh, markings for the boulder field... They were not sufficient, and in fact, I think they were negligent in people's safety. But the four of us managed to get through. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, because when I laugh, people see this ugly tooth. See, I'm missing a tooth. I'm getting an implant at the end of the month, so my hobo mouth will be gone. We made it to the end of the race, me and these uh, four other people. We were quite happy about it. We stuck together and um, we put a lid on it. So big accomplishment for all four of us. Personal accomplishment for me. <laughs> we're gonna cut here and I'll be back. I'm back. Are you ready? Chips and beer while I'm recording. I'm going to get a beer soon. Uh, yeah, personal achievements for me. I don't, uh, I don't know if I, I, I don't know. How are the chips? Yeah, good. I had a, um, this is the longest I've ever ran four, and this is the longest distance I had ever gone. I wouldn't do this, uh, I wouldn't just simply choose to do this. Uh, Kevin, uh, my friend Kevin Barada, he uh, suckered me in to signing up for this, as well as another uh, friend of ours, coworker of his, um, Darcy, and it was his, he'd only done two 50Ks, and he did the 100K, which is just insane, 18 hours. So he did really well. I'm just so impressed by his ability to finish um, this because he got stuck out in a massive thunderstorm that caused a lot of uh, people to quit, apparently. Results aren't up yet. Anyways, so yeah, without Kevin making me do stupid things, I wouldn't... Uh, I wouldn't be pushing myself uh, into boundaries that, or in past boundaries that I didn't know I was capable of. So I'm very thankful for that. Even though uh, Darcy and I made an, a, an agreement not to do shit like this anymore. We both ride motorcycles, so we're gonna go on some motorcycle uh, trips and enjoy our time together instead. But uh, I'm only joking. We had a good time, the three of us. It was a really good road trip. We all got along really well, so that made it really fun. There was no, there's no uh, arrogance in this threesome. There's no egos. Um, it was just r really nice people to hang around with, you know. And we both, all three of us, we uh, I say we both pushed ourselves. I mean Darcy and I. This is Kevin's. Uh, this is Kevin's world, and he loves it. 
and you can sh- you can see it in his uh, his times his finishing times are fantastic. In fact, he he did the hundred k, and he almost beat me in. I beat him by five minutes, and I only ran seventy k. So he had thirty more than me. So that shows you how slow I was. Uh, but that also shows you how talented Kevin is. But we all pushed ourselves. And we all enjoyed the 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 race. No negatives other than me personally. I think that Boulder Field was that could have been dealt with a lot better. And that's it. That was my 15 hours of running, slash power hiking, slash walking. And I don't know what the future holds. I don't know if I'm going to do any more of these. Uh, we did have an agreement not to do them, Darcy and I. Who knows if we'll uh, stick to that agreement? Probably not. It's funny, once you do these long distance things, you check that box, that mental box, and it's like, well, I know I can do it, so might as well do another one. Um, You know, another friend of mine, she's like, yeah, you say that after every race. You're not doing it anymore, but yet you sign up. I know I'm not alone in that mentality. How are the chips? Good? (laughs) She's not going to talk. Um... But man, that was a long ass day. 15 hours, 70K, 43.5 miles and over 8,000 feet of climbing. It was like 3,200 meters, something like that. But that's it. It's all done. And that's all I really have to say about it. I don't want to get into a big mushy, I found my soul bullshit all that sort of crap nature's great life is good uh i just think it's fluff and it's just people trying to show anyway i had a good time good weekend i'm glad i did it zero regrets on doing it um yeah that's it until next time i'm signing off peace broken fingers Let's let's do the more stupidity with Kevin. Another story for another time.